I wanted to shoot a little video of sort of the more difficult things we see when we have a cat that's not being cooperative to get into the common cozy cat wrap and how the way how we can try and make it more successful so some of those will be getting energy out some of those will be treats then we'll move into something like pheromones or to nutraceuticals medications and um, acupressure points if you have a second set of hands and lastly uh, just a technique to help you get cats in that are more likely to push out which isn't the most common way cats do it so firstly if i'm going to be handling my cat who's not used to it or who um, might already be a little bit on edge or i, I want to get their energy out a little bit so i am going to start with the day the start that day with playing with them i'm going to use a feather feather wand i'm going to use my laser we're going to do something to sort of get some energy out and i'm also going to try and skip breakfast that morning because i want a super food motivated cat so if you're if you're already hungry then things like these little temptation spoon fills or the churu sticks that cats really like a lot of cats receive these really well the churu they're um a little uh puree for the cats that are more into crunchies temptations are almost really well received almost always really well received the party mixes are very delicious for cats and then for the ones with this more sophisticated palette we have the sardines these um freeze-dried or dehydrated excuse me sardines and so i'm putting plenty of these out i'm putting them on the wrap i'm putting them out in front and that's going to give me a moment to sort of get my bearings on where i'm putting my cat beyond that I'll start thinking about things like feel away spray and this is just a pheromone that we know can be a little bit uh, calming for cats not substantial but it's going to take a, a notch down so this is something I'm going to be spraying on the wrap I'm going to spray it on in another room because the actual sound of spray and the aerosolization of spray is going to be aversive for cats I'm going to put it on another room then I'm going to bring my wrap in with my treats I'm going to sit down with it this is just available online easily or in any pet store beyond that then i'm going to be thinking about some medications or some nutraceuticals to start with so vetra science makes a product called composure this is composure pro it's just a higher concentration that's only available in vet clinics but it has um, colostrum it has various amino acids like tryptophan just in higher concentrations it can take the notch down one or two notches for cats i'll give a couple treats a few hours before i'm going to attempt to get my cat into the wrap they tend to be quite palatable and quite well received and sometimes that's not enough and cats are like i usually get to make my own decisions so why are you doing this to me and they're they're nervous and so for those cats that are really reluctant i will think about calling a veterinarian i mean that's i am a veterinarian but we use this all the time gabapentin is a very safe medicine to help bring it down a few notches bring down an anxiety level it has no scary side effects it's nothing we're really concerned about giving your cat you do have to get it into the cat but sometimes there are ways to to trick them with food or with pill pockets or to get the liquid in since we can get it compounded into a chicken flavored liquid so we sometimes actually just have to get some medication in just sort of say you can trust this process it's going to go well and after a few times in it you will get used to it beyond the pharmaceutical route and these often all work synergistically so it's not just picking one or the other if you have a second set of hands using these acupressure points can be actually really calming and you know it's not going to be more than the medication but it's going to be helpful i think especially with with the if you have someone to help you um so we know these two points there's one right here sort of between the eyebrows and there's one at the midline right in front right on top of that most bony prominence of the cat's midline of their skull and it's just in front of the end of that bony prominence and so we can manipulate both of these i'll pet them pretty firmly i'll pet them together they work synergistically you can choose one or move back and forth between the two but they are going to help and you see that cats sort of get a little tranced out and they're their um, eyes sometimes get a little bit squinty or they're just kind of space out a little bit and that obviously can be quite helpful for us um and lastly i just wanted to think about the idea of the cat that usually that doesn't 
hunker down into the wrap. So most cats, their normal reaction to not really knowing what's going on is to kind of get tight down because they're not really sure and they're going to be ready to pounce, right? So that serves us really well. So usually I'll get these cats, their neck wrapped and these guys hunker down or as I try to move to the back of the, back of the body, they lurch forward and that works really well because again, I want them tight and in the front of this wrap. This, the cats that are trickier are the ones that say, what's going on? I'm gonna put my feet out and straighten out my legs. I'm gonna arch my back. Those are, those are more difficult to deal with, right? Because they're starting to come back at you and they're not tight down in the wrap. So that's why I'm actually in this position explicitly. Um, I do this on a bed because I want this surface where they're not slipping around. I definitely personally don't like to do it on countertops, especially if I don't have a helper. So I'm usually on a bed or on a floor and I try to have the cats between my legs like this with my feet together in the back because if they're gonna back up, I can I have them in a place where they can't get away. And then I can do one of two things. So these arched up cats, I'm either gonna try before I go to the zipper, I'm gonna try and swaddle them down first, see if I can get them calmed a little bit before I try and zip them. And then I'll move toward my zipper. Alternatively, and I, not everyone can do this, and I'm pretty flexible, so I feel like I can use my body in, in many ways to help me with this. So these arched up backs, I will actually tuck my body down over them and they, and try and use my chest almost to push them down, and they instinctively want to go down as I'm approaching. And so that can help me again tighten them in faster. And once they're swaddled, that's when they can start to calm down. But while they're in the process of getting in, that's when they're like, I don't trust this process and I'm not sure what's happening. And so it's a very normal response for them. But I think those two ways can really help you using your body or having a second set of hands to help sort of push them down, obviously not aggressively, but in a way that's like, this is gonna move you forward and we're gonna get you to a safer spot faster. So, all of these together are gonna to help you succeed. No one thing is better than the other, but we often move through the steps, but certainly a ton of treats and trying to make this as good an experience as possible.